in this video i am going to talk about kirchhoff's current and voltage law kvl and kcl very important topics for the numericals so to start with the same topic first of all let us talk about few definitions of the circuit analysis first of all what do you understand by a node any point where two or more circuit elements are connected together are known as a node wires usually have negligence resistance so we do not consider any resistance of the wire for calculating numericals unless or until it is not given to us each node has one voltage with respect to ground what is a branch a circuit element between two nodes is known as a branch and what is a loop a collection of branches that form a closed path returning to the same node without going through any other nodes or branches twice so you will see that what is a node branch and loop with the help of examples as well so let us take this example how many nodes branches and loops are there in this circuit diagram first of all let us talk about the nodes as per the definition where the elements two elements are connecting together are known as node so this is node number 1 now this is node number 2 why we have considered this whole as a single node because in this wire there is no element similarly the third node is this one the lower one similarly we don't have any element in between these wires talking about branches so this is branch 1 branch 2 branch 3 branch 4 and branch 5 so the branch is nothing but in which we have the elements whereas a loop talking about the loop starting from node a if we consider some other node we will have a different number of loops talking about starting from node a so this is loop first this is loop 2 and the last one is loop 3 so these are the loops which we have starting from node a now let us talk about what is current division rule in the previous videos as well i have talked about the current division rule so as we know that in the parallel circuits the current is going to be divided whereas the voltage remains same so let us talk about this circuit diagram in the circuit diagram it is the current source rx is resistance r1 r2 and r3 is also the further three resistances and all these four resistances are connected in parallel with each other let us assume that we need to calculate the value of current ix flowing through resistor rx so what will be the value resistance in the opposite branches that is rt rt is nothing but the total resistance of r1 r2 and r3 that is r1 in parallel with r2 in parallel with r3 divided by the total resistance what is total resistance rx plus the total resistance rt multiplied by the total current it so this is how we can calculate the current which is going to be divided in our parallel circuits next is voltage division rule so what is a voltage division rule this voltage division rule is actually applicable in series circuits as we know that in the case of series circuits the voltage is going to be divided and the current remains same let us assume four resistors r1 r2 r3 and r4 the voltage across r1 is v1 r2 is v2 v3 and v4 the total voltage is vt now we need to calculate the voltage across r1 r2 r3 and r4 the formula is that voltage across r1 v1 t is given as resistance in the same branch that is r1 divided by the total resistance r1 r2 r3 and r4 multiplied by the total voltage vt so you can see it over here the formula resistance in the same branch divided by the total resistance multiplied by the total voltage similarly v2 
resistance in the same branch R2 divided by the total resistance multiplied by the total voltage. Similarly, we can calculate the voltages of all the other resistors. Now, the main topic Kirchhoff's voltage law KVL. The algebraic sum of voltages around each loop is a zero. Beginning with one node, add voltages across each branch in the loop. If you encounter a positive sign first and subtract voltages if you encounter a negative sign first. That is summation of voltage drops minus summation of voltage rises is equal to zero. Or we can also consider it as summation of voltage drops is equal to summation of voltage rises. This is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Let us consider this example. Let us apply Kirchhoff's voltage law KVL in loop number one. Assign current variables and directions. Let us assume I1 is the current flowing through R1, I2 is the current flowing through R2. Now we need to consider by using Ohm's law the polarities. So it is going to decrease from positive to negative, similarly positive to negative and this. Now apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. As I told you earlier that for the decreasing voltages, see, voltage drop, we need to consider negative minus I1 R1. Again, the voltage is going to drop here minus I2 R2. And in the last case, it is going from negative to positive. That means it is increasing. So for the increasing value, we need to con consider positive value that is plus Vs. The easiest way how we can consider is we need to consider the last symbol so that is the last symbol is negative so minus i1 r1 the last symbol is negative so minus i2 r2 and the last symbol is plus so plus v s is equal to zero this is just for your understanding so this is how we can calculate any value any unknown variable using kirchhoff's voltage law next is kirchhoff's current law the algebraic sum of currents entering a node is zero or we can also say it as current th going through a node or a junction is equal to current leaving the node or a junction. That is current in minus current out is equal to zero or summation of current in is equal to summation of current out. Let us consider this example. Let us consider this node B. So current going towards the junction is I1. Current leaving the junction I2, I3 and this is 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 also current going towards the junction. So going towards the junctions are positive plus I1 plus IS leaving the junctions will be minus I2 minus IS or we can also say it as I1 plus IS that is current going towards the junction is equal to I2 plus I3 that is current leaving the junction. So let us talk about this example by using KVL in this we will have you can see it over here now that how we are going to talk about the values. First of all let us assume I1 is the current flowing through 8 ampere. Let us assume I2 is the current flowing through 4 ohm. So we have two resistors over here. 8 ohm and 4 ohm. Now let us consider the equation by using KVL. So that is let us assume this direction. So first of all negative to positive. So that means the outer value that is positive. So plus 4 I2 minus 8 I1 is equal to 0. By solving this value, it comes out to be I2 is equal to twice of I1. Now apply KCL. That is 10 ampere is equal to I1 plus I2. Simplifying both the equations, we will have I1 is 3.33 amperes, I2 6.67 amperes. So what is actually the voltage across 
this AB point. VAB is nothing but voltage across 4 ohm. So that is the same, which comes out to be 26.33 volts. That is 4 into I2. Thank you so much.